Question oral. Oral questions. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. MPs came together to express their support for Ukraine and their disgust for Putin and what he's doing. One of the things that we asked the government to do to reflect that is to expel the Russian ambassador. The Deputy Prime Minister yesterday said, silence is complicity and following orders is not an excuse, and we would agree with that. In light of the silence from the Russian ambassador, will the government expel the Russian ambassador and recall our ambassador back to Canada? The right honourable Prime Minister. Russia's egregious and unprovoked attack on Ukraine is a direct challenge to democracy. It's why the Minister of Foreign Affairs summoned the Russian ambassador to express extreme concern and disagreement with Russia's actions. Canada will continue to use all tools at its disposal to make sure that these illegal acts are not left unpunished. The people of Ukraine have the right to their sovereignty and territorial integrity and the right to live free without fear. Yeah. The Leader of the Opposition. Well, we expect the government to take serious action and expel that ambassador, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Speaker, thousands of Ukrainians have fled their country and they are searching for safety. Ukrainians don't want to be permanent refugees. They want to return to their home, a sovereign and democratic Ukraine, but they need protection now. Canada has always been a welcoming place for those displaced by war. Will the Prime Minister commit today to allow, allowing visa-free travel for Ukrainians who are wanting to come to Canada and find a safe haven? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Canada is steadfast in the support for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine. We have been priority processing applications from Ukraine and bolstering operational capacity in the region, which has allowed us to approve more applications from Ukrainian nationals. In addition to establishing a dedicated service channel for Ukraine, inquiries regarding Ukraine are prioritized, and we're continuing to work on more measures as the situation unfolds uh, that will ensure uh, that Ukrainians uh, can flee to safety. The leader of the opposition. Well, it's a little hard getting a direct answer from the prime minister today. Let's uh, let's try another question. Yeah. Safety, security, sovereignty. Those must be all top priorities for any government, and it should be Canada's priority, especially now. The longer Canadian oil, gas, and LNG stay in the ground, the bigger Putin's wallet gets, mm -hmm. and the more countries like Ukraine and others will continue to be hurt and threatened by Russian aggression. More than ever, the world needs Canadian energy. Here, here. So I'm going to ask the Prime Minister, will he commit today to changing his political direction, and will he begin to support the extraction and exportation of Canadian oil, gas, and LNG? Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, as a government, we have been there for Alberta and Saskatchewan and uh, Newfoundland and Labrador and their energy sectors. Uh, we actually uh, are moving forward with the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion, which the Conservatives couldn't get approved and couldn't get built. We're going to continue to work uh, to ensure uh, that we are supporting workers in the energy industry, even as we ensure that we're moving forward in ways that uh, reduce carbon from our atmosphere and create a better future with good jobs for everyone. Canada has a significant role to play in the world. We will continue to play it with Europe and with other allies as well. Great. Oh. The Leader of the Opposition. When the Prime Minister invoked the Emergencies Act on February 14th, Conservatives and others said it clearly didn't meet the legal threshold. Legal tools were already available to move the trucks from Ottawa. The Prime Minister moved ahead to invoke the Act and even attached confidence to the vote. Less than 48 hours after that vote, he revoked it, which proved he used the Emergencies Act for his own political gain. Yep, yep. Isn't it true the Prime Minister used a legislative sledgehammer on our country for his own political advantage. The right honourable Prime Minister. The Emergencies Act enabled local authorities to end the illegal blockades. We've heard from the Commissioner of the RCMP, police chiefs, experts and political leadership that it was essential to the pol police response and that it offered precision and clarity as they did their important work. But even after all this has ended, Conservative MPs still can't pick a lane. Canadians want to know, do they stand with blockaders or do they stand with Canadian communities? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition.
transition. Well, here's the lane we'd like the Prime Minister to pick from. Today is March 1st, and as of today, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Alberta, Ontario, and Nova Scotia, they've all lifted their vaccine mandates and other provinces have followed suit. Why? Because it's safe to do so, and they care about mental health and their economies. Here at the federal level, we have a Liberal government that is dragging their knuckles because they've become so backwards and regressive in their thinking when it comes to the need for restrictions. When will the Liberals come out of the dark ages and see that vaccine mandates are so yesterday? When are they going to remove the The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, on this side of the House, we ground our decisions in science. Uh, we continue uh, to believe uh, that keeping Canadians safe is extremely important, but I will highlight that Canada has made significant movements uh, on restrictions of the borders uh, to enable for more Canadians to travel uh, safely and less onerously when they come home. We will continue to look carefully at what more measures uh, we can uh, lift or move forward on to ensure that Canadians uh, continue uh, to be safe while getting back to the things we love. Uh, Canadians expect their governments to keep them safe. That's exactly what we're doing. Here, here. The Honourable 